Okay, this is um, uh, revision number three, which is going to be on um, the long profile and valley characteristics, cross profiles, valley cross profiles, and what they're like and how they're different. Uh, firstly, I want you to read page the 22, page 22, the top two paragraphs, and do something a little bit weird, which is to visualise the changes that are happening along the course of the river. Actually think about what that looks like. And if you can't think about what that looks like, get onto Google Images and start typing in to, to see what the book is describing so that you have a visual idea about what that looks like. Uh, you need to write down the definition for the long profile and you need to learn it. Use the techniques that we did in the key terms video. You also need to learn, write down and learn the definitions for graded profile, have somebody test you on those. You also need to start thinking about what accounts for or what explains the changes in the valley and the landscape. Um, the book tells you that under the title Valley Long Profiles, it gives you an explanation as to why things change. And you need to write that up in your revision notes um, explaining changes along the valley, the uh, long profile. Um, I'd like you to read page 20, no, think about, oh, sorry, think about what landforms exist along the long profile. Try to place them in your mind which uh, landforms exist in which part of the river? Where are they and why? Why is it that waterfalls occur where they do? Why do meanders occur where they do? Read page 23 and then I'd like you to draw the three valley shapes, label them and annotate reasons why they look different. Try to come up with at least one reason for every one. Why are they different? Uh, I want you to start doing some revision a revision note page. If you've got A3 paper, use A3 paper, um, otherwise just do a, a backed A4 paper. I want you to draw a long profile graph and divide it into upper, middle and lower course. And then I want you to label on the features and draw diagrams. Everything you know about what goes on in the upper, what goes on in the middle, what goes on in the lower. Draw the valley shapes. Uh, make a note about what the gradient is like, what landforms do you find in each uh, section. Get your definitions on there. Um, try to use colour because colour can sometimes help the brain to retain connections.